Romans chapter 8 verses 28 through 39 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren moreover whom did he predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified what shall we then say to these things if God be for us who can be against us he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect it is God that justifieth who is he that condemneth it is Christ that died yea rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all thing all verse 37 nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord Mark chapter 3 verses 20 through 27 and the multitude cometh together again so that they could not so much as eat bread and when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him. For they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devils. And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables how can Satan cast out Satan and if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided he cannot stand but hath an end no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first
first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Amen.